Hello everyone. Happy Saturday. Hello family. Uh, happy that you're here with me again. Okay, so today I'm gonna talk about uh, BHA. BHA, BHA, but first I'm gonna touch more about BHA. So uh, for family and friends who think that they're not suitable for BHA, uh, AHA BHA products, okay, you can consider again after I share with you more about what exactly are BHA and where do they actually sit in your whole skincare routine. So, uh, what have you been doing today, uh, Saturday? Are you going out or sending your kids for tuition or going out to have your meals with your family once a week? Hold on, the music is a bit too loud. Okay, I really like this uh, playlist. It's actually a uh, Korean. You just type Korean healing music. Hello, Sabi. Hi. I know you're Sarah's friend because one of her friends actually say that she, uh, you will actually log on today to the, my life. Okay, so um, I really thank Sarah so much for letting me use her live sessions. Okay, and uh, yeah, hello. <laughs> hello, Sabi Rabbit. I know you're Sabrina, right? I think yes, Sabrina, if I'm not wrong. I'm sorry if I made the mistake, okay? So today I'm just going into what is uh, what exactly are BHAs and um, as usual, I have done my little homework, my little notes. Although I know all these things in my head, but I think I need like proper terms so that I know how to convey it properly so that people don't get too much misunderstandings and they can get a clearer, um, a lot of clarity in their own skincare routine. And as uh, I mentioned in my previous videos, right, I would say that n there is no perfect skincare or there is only appropriate skincare for your current skin conditions so you we really need to know or be self-aware where is our state our skin for example is your skin very new to HA BHAs you have to start from a very low percentage or you have to buffer it with a lot of humectants okay so um, if let's say you have any questions feel free to just PM me or have, uh, send, send your own personal messages to me to let me know what exactly are your skin type is it oily combination hello Carson <laughs> a lot of Sarah's friend come in oh my god hello Carson yeah uh, that day I, I saw you video, okay on whatsapp I saw you playing with your friends outside the school yeah Okay, so today I'm going to just talk about beta hydroxic acids and how you can actually uh, incorporate this into your daily skincare or whether you really need this in your skincare. Okay, so I've um, I actually done some notes so that I know exactly how to clearly uh, deliver the message to you. I don't wish that anybody uh, miss out on very important information on beta hydroxic acids. Okay, so what exactly are these acids? They are actually exfoliating uh, oil soluble um, oil soluble lotions. I wouldn't say that they are toners or cleansers or anything. They are just uh, uh, water soluble liquids. Say hi to me, okay? Say hi to me. Hey, are you shy? Don't be shy. I wouldn't eat you up. Okay, hello. Yeah, thank you for sending love. <laughs> I will tell Sarah about it, okay? She will be very, very happy. She's actually very nervous that um, y'all come into uh, my life. So she thinks that, you know, I will embarrass her in front of her friends. <laughs> but, okay, I'm just the same as all of you. I am not an adult, a parent. Okay, I'm just on the equal standing as all of you. Okay, I'm her friend. Okay, uh, she also treat me like a friend. Okay, she not high say with me. She also not. Um, she she doesn't like act in front of me. So she's just like my friend. Okay, we always bitch together, and we always talk talk together, and then we listen to the same songs together. Okay, you'll be very surprised. Okay, so basically, right, beta hydroxy acids are for very. Okay, I cannot find my notes. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, beta hydroxy acids are for very oily skin and acne prone skin. Okay, so if let's say you're in school now, okay, you are a teenager, you're facing some 
form of um, acne or blemishes on your skin or like me, an adult, okay, I have very oily combination skin, I have very dry skin like the desert, okay, I'm always feeling tightness in my in my skin, alright, and I have a lot of open pores, I have eczema, logere skin, okay, so I can also use beta, hold on, I like the I like the music so much then it becomes too loud okay so it kind of like conflict with uh, whatever I'm saying all right so as I said they are oil soluble exfoliating exits okay so what they do is they penetrate deep into your pores and help you to clean out the gunk and because of this right it helps with blemish prone skin but if let's say you are very new to BHA uh, beta hydroxy acid you have to start off with a very low percentage and you cannot start using it every day you probably have to start with once or uh, once a week and then slowly mount it up to two times three times a week now for myself because I'm very used to using BHA BHAs I actually use it every day in my life okay I, I use it every day because I use it to deal with uh, my easily clogged skin because my metabolism of the skin is very bad due to my low blood platelets so therefore I cannot recover from wounds okay I always develop big or tear and big wounds that will never recover in years all right so I use BHA together with a lot of humectants and I will share with you later what are the form of BHAs you can use if let's say you're a starter or like me you have very sensitive dry inside oily skin Okay, I have a lot of eczema and rotting of the skin. You can still go to use BHA but still maintain uh, your, uh, as in to control the peeling and the metabolism because using a BHA will increase the metabolism of your skin and therefore give you a lot of new skin and more um, evened out texture, smooth out your texture and also help with a lot of pigmentation. It will help to uh, because of the uh, cell turnover it helps to push up the new skin so that all your scars will naturally gradually go away and it will gradually heal up and that's how I actually use BHA to heal up my wounds and my um, scars that I get from all my open wounds all right now because I do not have the natural mechanism to uh, metabolize my skin okay uh, to turn over new skin after a wound all right so I have to use these uh, chemical forms of exfoliant and I cannot use physical exfoliants because it is too harsh for my skin my skin is too sensitive and uh, it, it will uh, largely dry on the skin and most exfoliants in the market are actually uh, made from those um, little uh, seed glass okay they are they have this edges to help you exfoliate your skin for, for, for skin as sensitive as as weak as mine I cannot use physical exfoliants all right and then uh, it not only help you to sweep away dead skin cells and help you to regulate your sebum production but however your, your skin is still very young you probably have to start with a very low percentage BHA which probably there are certain brands in the market like K K brand, uh, K brands okay they have very very gentle form of uh, BHA because in South Korea itself right um, okay uh, anything percentages of uh, exits okay BHA that is more than 0.2 percent it is actually only available in the pharmacies and therefore a lot of K beauty brands they sit with they can they can only use very gentle forms of beta hydroxic exits okay and I will tell you a few brands that carry very gentle form of um, um, beta hydroxic exits okay and then uh, these are all brands that I have tried okay so I will never uh, I will not at least in my own channel right I will not talk about brands that I have never tried before because I have no feeling form with that brand so it is not fair for me to actually come up with an opinion which is not a fact right opinion when it's not a fact is um, redundant or it's not constructive so I will never talk about something that I have never used before or uh, I have not incorporated into my own skincare 
okay so all these um, they, they actually help you to smooth out the skin and help you to calm your blemish prone skin and for people who are pr more prone to blackheads white blackheads okay on your nose okay you can also selectively use the hy uh, beta hydroxy acids on certain locality of your skin for example your T zones okay uh, for me I will only use it here I will not use it here because over here uh, this part of my skin is very weak okay the lipid barriers are very damaged so I cannot use uh, BHA on that part of my skin uh, I have to resort to like gentler forms of beta hydroxy acids Okay, and then the the most popular form of um BHA actually sustain. Okay, you can go to the pharmacy guardians. Okay, you can look through all the brands. Actually, you turn to the back of the label, you'll see salicylic acid because it's the most um, uh, so called like, a uh, strongest form or the most effective form of beta hydroxy acids okay if let's say you go to cos rx okay they're cleansers they have clean uh salicylic acid in the form of cleansers in a form of toners okay i do they have um uh, salicylic acids in the form of serums okay if you know please let me know okay i will want to try it out as well but the one that i use and tried is actually the salicylic acid cleanser and the salicylic uh, i think i tried the bha um, toner okay so it comes in a water form which is very gentle on our skin so if let's say you are actually a teenager you can try the cost rx okay on the shelves and it is quite cost effective if i'm if i'm not wrong all right you can start with the gentle toner which you can you can go to every after you got used to the beta hydroxy acid. Alright, and then, um, okay, these are actually the more stronger form uh, of um, um, BHAs. And another kind of uh, BHA is actually widow bark extract. Okay, in Korea, if you go to the K Beauty section, right, uh, most of the brands actually in Korea, in South Korea, use. Um, willow bark extract okay and for me right every time i see a cleanser with willow bark extract i will probably put it on my priority list or my wish list because willow bark extract is a more gentler form of beta hydroxy acids and for cleansers that actually help you to cleanse away some of the debris or some of the dirt on your skin especially in the morning i don't need a very a strong exit I will go to a willow bark because it is so gentle it helps your skin metabolism it helps to turn over and uh, okay one one um, interesting fact if you use skin and sunscreen is actually a very crucial part of our skincare if you are using vitamin C retinols okay you have to pair it up with um, skincare because all these are more drying it is more it kind of intervenes intervenes with your skin with your skin all right your skin structure and therefore right because of all these uh, intervention you will need a protection which is a sunscreen and um, a little that we all know that sunscreen actually clogs our pores okay sunscreen actually clog our pores so a lot of people think that oh using sunscreen I don't need to use a, a, a makeup cleanser or I don't need to wash my face because it's not makeup it is just sunscreen but sunscreen is the same as makeup it actually clogs our pores so if let's say you have a very low metabolism of your skin you have very low skin metabolism you have to use a BHA or um, a AHA okay but of course um, uh, a lot of people are not sure and a lot of my friends actually ask me I don't think they actually comment this they, they tell me that I don't think I'm suitable to use AHA BHA because it's too harsh I have very dry skin okay there's always a way to use BHA with very dry skin and I'll tell you how later all right okay and uh, okay another form of a very gentle form of um, AHA is Salix Alba uh, sorry um, 
Salix. Okay, Salix Alba. Okay, and then one more form is actually called the okay betine betine uh cellulite. All right, betine cellulite. Okay, all these are very gentler. The gentler forms, or they might think that it's an alternative form to uh alternative acid as compared to salicylic acid. So if you think that salicylic acid actually dries out your face, it cracks your face, it uh actually breaks you out even more. Okay, you can go to Willow Bark Extracts um ingredients or or uh, this uh, I, I keep forgetting the name okay uh, pardon me it is called betine cellulite all right these are all the gentler forms and it is all very prevalent in k beauty products okay like i said cosarex okay and then um now um salicylic acid actually comes in many forms it comes in cleansers toners okay serums and moisturizers okay but for moisturizers it kind of buffers off the uh, the effectiveness of the acid. So for myself, right, I I very rarely use salicylic acid in a moisture form, moisturizer form. But if let's say you're a starter, you really want to have a higher t cell turnover rate. You want to have the natural glow in your skin, the brightness. Okay, you want to exfoliate your skin um, gently without using a physical scrub, a physical exfoliant. Okay, you can actually buffer off uh, a stronger version of salicylic acid with very good humectants which is your moisturizer so your moisturizer has to have hyaluronic acid which is a very good for retaining moisture and binding in of the moisture you can buffer it together with a good salicylic acid and it will actually buffer off the strength the strong effects of salicylic acid and it actually buffers off the peeling and all the uh, after effects and the purging of salicylic acid so that's a little secret that you can you uh, you can go to for using salicylic acid okay so one thing one example that I have here is I I use the salicylic uh, the cosrx salicylic acid cleanser and it is a very strong cleanser and if you go to reviews on all the platforms right they will tell you that salicylic acid uh, the salicylic acid cleanser from Cosrx actually breaks people out and after that they, they feel the tightness in, the, in their skin and it dries out their skin so people will think that oh it only dries out the, the acne but it doesn't actually cure the acne from within okay one way to use that cost uh, that cause our salicylic acid cleanser is to pair it and buffer it off with very moisturizing like your strong hyaluronic acid moisturizers and it will definitely work for you or another way is that you can use the salicylic um, cleanser from Cosrx. you put it on a spot locality the locality of the spot okay you you uh, from you actually uh, gently uh, massage it into a leather okay so you gently massage it into a leather and then you let it sit on your face for 20 seconds so any exit uh, that comes in a form of cleanser you have to let it sit scientifically it's proven you have to let it sit for 20 seconds before it will take effect on your skin and then after that you just um water and wash it away you just rinse it off with cold water okay and then you go to a good serum which is has a lot of humectants and then you go to a good um a night cream or if let's say it's a night routine you go to a night cream if it's a day you can go for a um a uh, better gel okay gel is actually a like a mutant with uh no it's not a mutant it's a hybrid between uh water consistency and cream consistency so it's like uh, god given right it's a uh, gel which is strong enough for you to retain and bind in your moisture for the rest of the day so that's how you do that's how you actually pair uh, salicylic acid um, cleansers with uh, good humectants all right and then Another way is actually you use the very gentler version which is like willow bark extract which that one will be very gentle and you can use it every day. Okay, uh, so okay, I've touched on cleansers. Okay, another form that th this is my go-to. I like to use salicylate in a form of either a pad, you know those kind of application pads. So it's kind of one side is rougher, the other side is smoother. I would like to use it, okay, it's, it's something like that. 
Okay, this one is actually a salicylic acid. Okay, so basically, right, it comes in like, you know, Medicube. Medicube is also a form of salicylic acid. Okay, so you open it up, okay, they actually comes in pieces of round pads. Alright, so uh, one, this is actually having a consistency of 0.5% of Suiyang Suan, okay, which is a salicylic acid. So this is a more gentler version and the other one 0.5%. So if let's say for example you have this in Korea, right? They wouldn't have they wouldn't be able to dispense you over a normal shelf. They have to dispense you over a pharmacy. Alright, so this one is actually in a consistency or percentage of 2%. So Yang Swan, okay, salicylic acid, and this one is slightly stronger. But for me, right, um, my percentage is 2% because I have incorporated um, salicylic acid in my routine for uh, about 2 years or 3 years now. So for me, my skin is already ready for higher percentages. So this one is my go-to every day. I either use it in, t in forms of pad. So what I do is I clean it and then I turn to the back, the smoother part, and then I clean it again and go over my neck. So it helps with the metabolism and the turnover of my skin. Alright, and then after that, I will go to uh, another one that uh, is my go-to is actually in forms of toner. I wouldn't say it's toner, but uh, because toners shouldn't be uh, explained in this way, it's probably uh, the term, um, the more appropriate term is actually uh, water solubles, like uh, liquids, alright? So like uh, the Cos RX, uh, the BHA toner would be very, very good for um, you know, like students with uh, teenagers who are having puberty and then they have a little bit of blemishes, okay? They can actually spray on their face, it's so gentle. Then after that, followed by a very gentle moisturizer and that would be all for your skincare, okay? It's very cost effective, okay? And then uh, another kind would be, I really like would be the... Uh, the ordinary okay they have salicylic acid but that one is a little bit too mild for me okay for students or, or teenagers they can go for that uh, version of salicylic acid that one is a little bit more mild and also the inky list okay inky list has a very mild version or uh, and more effective versions or uh, version of um, salicylic acid I think it's in 2% they have a 2% or 0.5% okay so if let's say you're very new, you can start with a 0.5% first or anything lesser than 0.5% and then slowly build up to a 2%. Oh, oh your friends are here. No. Yes. They actually say hello and give me love. Come. Come. Uh, yeah, why are you so shy? Come here. They know how you look anyway. Okay, so if let's say uh, you have very, very dry skin, okay, you say that, oh, I uh, dry and dull skin, okay, actually for dry and dull skin, it's very important to start with salicylic acid and BHA. Just say hello. Okay, she waved to you guys, okay, <laughs> not me. Who is this, uh, anyway? The Jie, today is a new new person. Lin Jie. Lin Jie, I don't know which. Ling Jie. Uh, this dude is... The this dude, he, she call you dude. <laughs> <laughs> the, the good friends to these two. Oh, so they are all good friends. Yeah, okay, I actually tell them about like teenagers, what can teenagers with blemish skin use. So they will run to the Guardian and Pharmacy later. Three of them are boys. Oh, three of them are boys. Do you have acne? Do you have acne? No. No, they don't have acne. You have perfect skin. Okay, so you have skin better than us because <laughs> we are women. Alright? That's okay. not true. Oh, and a lot of K-beauties actually, they combine, uh, they actually pair up all these uh, BHA, beta hydroxy acids together with calming uh, properties, uh, uh, ingredients, okay, like uh, bamboo water, you know, all these are very calming. So it actually helps to buffer off the effects of the exfoliating and the cell turnover. Okay, so if let's say you're very new and you have very weak and damaged lipid barriers, okay, you have very dull skin, okay, very clogged pores. None of us. Okay. Of course not you. <laughs> okay, I'm talking about like adults, alright? So basically you you use a lot of makeup, a lot of sunscreen that clog up your pores and on your own you do not have the skin metabolism to turn it over. 
okay when you first use um, beta hydroxy acid you will start to purge and it's a very normal reaction it's a very po normal post reaction of using BHA all right so what you do is uh, it normally oh, sorry it normally purges for about uh, one two weeks to one month to three months for myself it's one month and it's really worth waiting because it is uh, 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 an initial stage or a beginning to your bright skin okay so Something that is gives you porcelain glass like skin we call it like K Korean glass like skin okay actually I don't know why men are in my channel okay they're not men boy, they're boys. boys okay I don't know why boys are in my channel this okay. not channel oh uh, yeah in my life okay I realized that all of you always have <laughs> every day during my life thank you for coming in although the content is doesn't help you at all okay i know you like games and stuff but i don't know about games you can you you oh velo veloron veloron okay well i don't know what's veloron you probably can do a live and i will log in your life every day and watch your veloron Valeron, okay, Valeron. <laughs> what is Valeron anyway? Okay, but okay, and glow recipe. Okay, glow recipe. I don't think you can afford it. It's probably eighty to hundred dollars. Okay, oh it is like um, it is a BHA for a lot of adults. Okay, for myself, I'm not into these beautiful bottles, but there are people, a lot of adults, they love these beautiful bottles okay they actually are willing to spend that amount of money for a beautiful beautiful um, you know packaging okay that will be the glow recipe okay glow recipe uh, it it is also a model version it actually has uh, it comes in the version of um, willow bark extract all right uh, and all the gentler forms of um, the salicylic acid is like an alternative form of salicylic acid but for myself i wouldn't spend on uh, i wouldn't spend on like a uh, glow recipe because uh it's probably a lot of money for just the packaging bed uh, for a milder version of bg okay so so uh, I would go for Inky List, uh, Paul, Paul, what was the name? Paul's, um, Paula Choice. Okay, Paula's Choice has a uh, very good, the thing about Paula's Choice is they actually have a stronger version of um, BHA and it's a little bit more effective for a lot of um, like acne prone skin, alright? Okay, if you have very dull and damaged lipid period skin, right? What you can do is you can start a little bit with the local locality. So what you do is you use a little um, cotton, okay? Uh, or a towel wipe, okay? Those um, suitable for skincare, alright? And then what you do is um, you actually uh, use uh, okay, you put a little bit of the lotion on it, okay? You actually um, gently massage that area, okay? Not too much because the bacteria of the blemish will spread to other areas, okay? So what you do is you do you do that and then you spray with a very calming toner, okay? You can use um, things like oh, a niacinamide, okay? A ni niacinamide. So you can buffer it off also with niacinamide lotion, ji guang sui, okay, toners or niacinamide uh, serums, okay. So these are very good uh, balancing, but it balances out your BHA. So these are very good pairing active ingredients. So we are talking about pairing the active ingredients, what uh, ingredients you can layer it together with, alright. Um, anything else that I have missed out? Okay, another one would be the pharmacy um, uh, uh, pharmacy deep sweet, okay? They have this uh, beta hydroxy acid in 2%, okay? Uh, similarly, they are pretty good, but the strength of that brand is it actually pairs together with very, very good and high percentage trumectins to actually help with the irritation after that and the purging after that. So if let's say you do not want to purge so much, you have to go to work, okay? You cannot afford to have any acne outbreak, okay? Using a salicylic acid, you can go with a smaller percentage, use it like once or twice a week to 
slowly mount it up to every day of your skincare routine okay uh, the more effective ones will be using a toner okay for myself i will go to a serum i will not really use it in my moisturizer because moisturizer actually it, it just buffers off a lot of effects of the salicylic acid so you can pair um, bha beta hydroxy acid with niacinamide with ha hyaluronic acid okay these are all very good pairing ingredients and layering ingredients um, to give you a very good shine and glow in your skin so so happy that i'm able to share about uh, bha as i promised uh, to you guys so next up um, in other videos i'll talk about ha's and some of my reviews on using some products okay um, some products that i have um, been looking for uh, recently uh, to incorporate it into my own skincare so on this channel I will only share about the products that I have used before uh, the good and bad okay my pros and cons as I said there's no perfect product in the world there's only the perfect product that is appropriate for your own skin state so any questions like example you what was the kind of skin that you're having now dry skin dull skin like luster skin okay uh, big pores open pores you can always let me know PM me individually and I will try to give you as much information and some um, little tinge of advice for you like what you can use and how you can use it effectively to serve your own skin goals okay so thank you for coming in today happy saturday to all of you please spend some time with your family okay you can play some games and then um work hard for your PSLE all right and for um uh, my 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 friends okay uh do have some quality time with your kids your hubby okay eat healthily and exercise okay ciao bye